This is example four of lesson 5.4, dividing fractions. Again, one more time. We're dividing one half divided by three eighths. How many chunks of three eighths can I take out of one half? And we'll get to the model at the end here. But first, let's look at this. Remember, copy, X, flip. So copy, X, flip. Copy the first fraction, one half, make an X for multiplication, flip your second fraction, eight over three, then multiply straight across, eight times one is eight, two times three is six. This can be simplified. Eight over six is an improper fraction. We cannot leave it as it is. How many times does six go into eight? Well, that's one time. How many is left over? Two sixths. Two six can be simplified, of course. They can both be divided by two, divided by two, and I get one and one third. Let's look at this on the model. We have one half divided by three eighths. One half, of course, is equal to four eighths. I have to have a common denominator if I'm going to use my model. If I'm not using a model, I do not need a common denominator. If I'm not using a model, if all I'm doing is copy X flip without checking my, my work at the end with a model, I don't need a denom common denominator. So, one half is equal to four eighths, so let's fill in four eighths here. One, two, three, four. And now let's chunk three eighths. So one half divided by three eighths, so three-eighths would look like that, that's three-eighths, and then the next three-eighths is not full. So I have one whole three-eighths, not in rectangular form, thank you. One whole three-eighths, and this here, just looking again at what's inside the box here, just what's inside the box, we have three pieces and one of them is filled in. So this is one third, as my answer is over here, one and one third.